Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now I am going to solve this problem 142. In this problem it is said that determine the vector expression for the moment MO of the 600 Newton force about point O. The design specification for the board at O would require this result, right? So we are asked to find the vector representation of the moment at point O due to this 600 Newton force. First I will draw the x, y and z axis at this point A. So let me draw that. Let's suppose that this is the x axis. This line is parallel to the x axis, right? And this is the z axis line. So I will copy this z axis and I will move this axis to this point A, right? And I will place another vertical line that is parallel to the y axis and I will place this at point A. So as we can see that this 600 Newton force is in this plane, right? And this plane is making 60 degrees, right? And this 600 Newton force is making 45 degrees with this line, with this center line of this part of this assembly, right? So if I resolve this force into its components, right? We will find the moment by using the cross product method. So moment about O will be equal to R cross F. So first I am going to find the vector representation of this force. So I will find the components of this force along x, y and z axis. Right? So for that reason I have placed these axis and this is the this is positive x, this is positive y and this is positive z, right? So now if we resolve this force into its components, so then one component will be in this direction. This is the along the z axis, right? So this will be one component and this will be the another component of this force along this line, right? Since this force is making 45 degrees with this line, right? So its components will be along this line and this line, right? So this component is, this is the sine component, right? So we can write. And this component, as we can see that this component is parallel to the z axis, right? So we can directly say that this is the, if this is the force F, so this is the mag, this is the FZ component, right? This one. And this component is in the uh, x and y plane, right? This is the xy plane, right? If I write this block, this is the xy plane, as we can see. So this is the xy plane. If I write, so this component is in the xy plane so we can say that this component is f xy component right and this if i write here so the f xy component is 600 cos of 45 degree so this is f xy and the angle is made with this so it is the cos component so it is 600 cos of 45 degree and fz is 600 sine of 45 degrees right so this fz is directly known and it is 600 sine of 45 degrees now if i find the components of this fxy along the x and y axis so we will have these two components right so we will have this component from here to here and we will have this component So this component is the fx component, this is along the x axis and this one is the fy component. And since uh, this fxy or this plane is making 60 degrees with the uh, y axis or with the vertical, right? So if we look into this FF, fxy from this direction, right? If I draw the 2D diagram, so this force will look like this, this fx, f of xy component will look like this and it will be making 60 degrees with the vertical right so if this is that f of xy component right 
if this is the f of x y component so this will be making 60 degrees since this plane is making 60 degrees so this center line will also be making 60 degrees so this f of, f of x y is making 60 degrees with the y axis is right so if this is 60 so then we will have two components right so one components be in the negative y direction so this will be one component right and the other component will be in the positive x direction right this will be the other component so this component is again this is f of x and this is f of y so now we can write that f of x is this this f of x y component and this if this is 60 so then this is 30 right so we can represent this f of x y in terms of 30 or we can represent this in terms of 60 right so in terms of 60 degrees this f of y is f of x y cos of 60 degrees since the angle is made with this one right and this will will be f of x y sine of 60 degrees right so if i write so f of x will be f of x y sine of 60 degree and f of y will be equal to f of x y cos of 60 degree and this is f of x y right so we can write that f of x is equal to 600 cos of 45 degrees sine of 60 degrees and f of y will be equal to 600 cos of 45 degree cos of 60 degree right so these are the three components of the given force right this one is f of x this one is f of y and this one is f of z right so now we know three components of this force and again we can see that this f of y is in the negative y direction so i need to put the minus sign here as well right so this f of y is equal to minus and f of x is in the positive direction and f of z is in the positive direction only this f of y is in the negative direction so now we know the uh, force vector so if i represent the force as a vector so then we know this f of x f of y and f of z so first let me solve this uh, these equations right so to find the magnitudes of f of x f of y and f of z when i solve this f of x f of y and f of z so i get f of x is equal to 367 newtons f of y is minus 212 newton and f of z is 424 newton so if i write the f as in a vector form so f will be equal to f of x i so this will be 367 i minus f of y j minus 212 j plus 424 k so this is the vector representation of that force right and now we will find the vector of the moment arm so first let me specify the moment arm so this will be our moment arm from point o to point a since we want to find the moment about point o right so this will be our moment arm so i can write that moment arm is r o a so to, to find this r o a vector we need to find the coordinates of this point a so let me remove this right so let me write the coordinates of point a here right so if these are the coordinates of point a so to reach this point a we need to travel how much distance along x-axis is right so we will travel this much distance first or let me say that first we will travel this distance to reach that point a so this distance is along y and this distance is 140 mm right so this distance is along y so let me write here so this a coordinate so along y first we will travel 140 so this is 140 and then we will travel this distance and this distance is along z right so i will write that along z we will travel 150 right so this is along the z axis is right and we will reach this point then we will travel this distance and this distance is along the x axis is right so I will write 50 right so then we will travel again the straight distance along x so if I draw another line parallel to the x-axis if I draw this line this is parallel to the x-axis right and if I place it here right so 
this is 50 mm so when i travel this 50 mm so i will reach this point right so when i reach this point so i need to travel this much distance this uh further distance along x right so let's suppose if this is the a dash point and let's suppose that this is p point so i will travel p a dash more distance right and we know the length of this p a right so the this here a triangle is formed which is p a a dash right so we have this triangle p a and a dash and this since this is this is parallel to the x axis and this is parallel to the y axis so both of these will be making 90 degrees right so this length is 130 and this angle is if this is 60 so then this angle is 30 right if 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 i draw this line this vertical line here so then if this is 60 so then this is 30 right so this means that this pa is making 30 degrees with this pa dash so what is pa dash so pa dash is the cost component of this 130 mm right so along x we need to travel further this distance and that distance is i will write 130 cos of 60 degrees right so we will travel this pa dash distance so this 130 cos of 60 is pa dash distance right and once we read this uh, once we reach this a dash point so then we will travel this a a dash distance and this distance is along y right so i will write i will add up this one 140 plus and i will write that this distance this a a dash is the sine component right so this is 130 sine of 60 degrees right and there is no need to travel further in the z direction right so once we reach this point so in the z direction we have reached the point a right so there is no need to add uh, further dimensions to this z uh, coordinate right so these are the coordinates of point a so this is 50 plus 130 cos of 60 plus and the y coordinate is 140 plus 130 sine of 60 and the z coordinate is 150 so if i solve this so we will get the coordinates of point a so let me solve it when i solve this so we get the these coordinates of a in mm right and if we consider this angle this 30 degree angle so then this p a dash is cos of 30 right so by mistake i have written the 60 degree angles so i need to write 30 degrees and here also write 30 degrees right so when we solve this so we get these uh, coordinates of a in mm and if we divide these coordinates by 1000 so then we will get 0.1626 meters 0.205 meters and 0 0.150 meters right so these are the coordinates of point a in meters now if we want to find the moment about o so now we know both the vectors so moment about o and if you want to represent our OA vector in terms of these coordinates, so we can write directly. So I will write 0.1626i plus. And as we can see that we have traveled this distance, this uh, y coordinate in the negative y direction. This is negative y, right? So we need to write minus sign here, right? So this is minus. So I will write minus. So then this is minus 0.205. So then this will be minus 0.205j plus 0.150k. Right. So these this is our OA vector, and we will take the cross product with the force vector, and the force vector is this one, right? So this is 367i minus 212j plus 424k cross product right so i will use the determinant method to find the moment about o vector right so we will write i j and k and 0 0.1626 minus 0 0.205 plus 1.150 and 367 minus 212 and 4 to 4 right so i will hide this row and this column and i will take the determinant of the remaining elements 
so moment about o will be equal to the determinant of this so this is 424 into minus 0.205 minus the product of this right so this will be minus 212 into 0 0.150 and i will multiply this with i then i will hide uh, this column and then i will write minus with j we always write minus this is the determinant method remember and i will take the determinant of this so this will be 0 0.1626 cross 424 minus the product of this so this will be 367 into 0 0.150 and this will be j right and then i will hide this column and will take the determinant of this so this will be plus and this will be again 0 0.1626 into minus 212 minus the product of 367 into minus 0 0.205 so this will be the k component of that m o so if i solve this so we will get the moment about o this is the moment about O, the vector representation of that moment about O. So it is minus 55.3i minus 13.89 plus 40.8k. So this is the solution of this last problem from this topic.